Yeah. Cause he look like. What you look like? Let's get straight to it. Sand dude. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another edition of 187 Embark. And today we have a very special segment for you titled Five Questions, which I will ask my two esteemed guests five questions, and they're gonna keep it real for y'all. As always, I'm your host, Jordan Soldier Boy Huff. Mm. Fur Coat Jones, keeping it funky like gym socks. Well, ass. The baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the baby. I don't like that. Wow. You what is your ideal utopian society? Hmm. My ideal utopian society would be everyone grows up, you know what I'm saying, not even knowing. Like you can't see a different person's color or religion in you. Know? Carefree world. Too, but nobody judges you for. <laughs> Gas is free. <laughs> Street signs are made of like cotton candy. Just happy people. It's music playing all the time. <laughs> what fictional or cartoon character do you feel embodies your characteristics the most? Like Arnold. You know, Arnold is like the coolest cartoon character there is. Dexter's sister from Dexter's laboratory. He's always smooth. He doesn't get into trouble. She was just, I was, I don't know, I just loved her. And she had attitude, but she also got on her brother's nerves, but she also <laughs> loved him at the same time. He's just that guy that everybody wants to be around. He has friends, you know what I'm saying? He's like the king in the neighborhood where they stay at the stoop. And that was just me growing up with my brother. I could just relate. It's just that cool guy you can just chill with. Oh, I got it. What were you doing before this interview began? Before this interview, I was at the cab. I was getting my mind right. Scavenging through the horrible food that we have. It was like rice and steak. Da -da -da -da. I was just chilling in the car. <laughs> and then after that, I tried to take a cup out of the cab and got yelled at. <laughs> and then I came straight here to class. For Coach Jones prior to 2017. Prior to 2017 was 2016. Before 2017, Kintel was just living a carefree life. As, as the years progress, I progress and mature as an individual. Like, it was just all about having fun. You know, still going with the flow, doing the same things I always do. What inspired you to create your own business? My dad actually used to do t-shirts when we were younger, just make like little team t-shirts, put our names on the back, do stuff like that. And this summer, I was broke the whole summer. Jobs just kept turning me down. I was, I was like, man, what am I gonna do? So I just decided I was gonna go into business for my, we still had the printing press my dad used to use a long time ago, um, down in the basement. And I started, started noticing that people was wearing shirts with designs like people's faces or just little sayings and stuff like that. So I was like, I can make that, I can do that. So I made a couple of little, um, like sample tees. I got my brother who, who uh, does photography to take pictures of like the first couple of tees I made. Did like my own little, I guess like a lookbook type thing. Put it up on social media and it really took off after that. All right, I want to thank my two guests for coming on the show today. We Blessings. got some interesting perspectives from both of them. And uh, catch us next time on 187 Embarks, Five Questions. Mm -hmm.